Hi, welcome. Are you ready for some more practice on our 17 Bible periods? Our practice times together have been a lot of fun and I sure hope that you're learning as we go along. We have some visitors to our page um, and we are so glad that you're joining us. We hope you're learning as well. We're very glad you're here and we invite you to come along. I have 18 more Bible events today and just like we have been doing, we decide whether they belong in the Old or the New Testament, and then we decide which Bible period they fit into. But before we begin today, I want to sing our Bible period song, and let's quickly review our actions and why we use them for anyone who may be joining us for the first time. Before the flood, we do the creation, and we bring it down. The flood, we move our fingers and we move it slowly up like flood waters. And then scattering of the people, we move those people out and about. Patriarchs, this is the sign for father. So this is the sign we use for patriarchs. And our four fingers are a good reminder of who those patriarchs were. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. Exodus, we part the water and we walk across on dry land. Wandering in the wilderness is just like this. They did not know for sure where they were going. Invasion and conquest of the land, we invade and we conquer. Judges, we put our gavel down. Now that's not exactly the kind of judges they were in the Old Testament, but it's a good memory builder for us. So here's our judges sign. United Kingdom, we have the North and the South and they're united. You gotta link them together. Divided Kingdom, pull them apart. Judah alone, Israel is taken into captivity and Judah's down here by itself. Captivity, you gotta put your handcuffs on. Then we return from captivity, and when we return, we rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Years of silence, we put up four fingers over our mouth because there was 400 years of silence between the Old and the New Testament. God did not speak, either to the people himself or through men as he had done before. Life of Christ, we gotta put the nails in our hands because he died for our sins. Early church, gotta have a rock and you gotta put your C on top because the church was built on the rock of truth. And then we have the letters to the Christians. So those are our signs and our actions and that's why we use those. So now let's put it into practice with our song. Before the flood and then the flood scattering of the people, patriarchs, exodus, wandering in the wilderness, invasion and conquest of the land, judges then united kingdom, divided kingdom, Judah alone, then captivity, return from captivity, years of silence, life of Christ, early church, then the letters to the Christians. Okay, it's time for our Bible events, our first one today is about a baby boy named Moses whose mother saved his life by putting him in a basket in the river and he was found by the princess who raised him as her own. If you remember that Bible story, do you remember whether it was in the Old or the New Testament? It's an Old Testament story. And what Bible period does it fit in? The Exodus. Remember, Moses is going to grow up and God is going to send him back to Egypt to bring God's people out. Now that's Moses. Our next 
Bible event is Ruth. A woman named Ruth marries a man named Boaz. And through this marriage, Jesus will be born way down the line. But this was an important marriage. Was this story in the Old or the New Testament? That is an Old Testament story. And who knows what Bible period Ruth fits in? She was found in the period of the Judges. That's Ruth, in the period of the Judges. Our next one is Men Make Fun of Noah. God tells him to build a boat, and the whole time he's building it, his friends all around him, if you can call them friends, are making fun of him. Is that in the Old or the New Testament? That's an Old Testament story, isn't it? What Bible period does it fit in? Noah was during the flood. Very good. Our next one is about a country named Babylon conquering Judah and taking them away from Jerusalem to be their slaves. Is that an Old Testament story or a New Testament story? Do you remember? That's an Old Testament story. And who knows what time period that fits in. They were taken away to be slaves. What word does that sound like? The captivity. That's right. Our next one is a book of the Bible that tells us there is victory in Jesus. Is that in the Old or the New Testament, do you think? That message that there's victory in Jesus. That would be a New Testament. And what time period? Our letters to the Christians. This is the book of Revelation. Very good. Now, I got another one. Joseph. Oh, some of you remember Joseph. Remember his special coat? Remember who gave him the special coat? His father. Is that story in the Old or the New Testament? The Old Testament, isn't it? And what time period does Joseph fit in? The patriarchs, remember our sign for patriarchs, and he's one of them. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. Very good. Joseph fits in the patriarchs. Our next Bible event is a shepherd boy kills a giant. Not by himself. He had God to help him. Is that story in the Old or the New Testament? The Old Testament. Now, who can tell me who that shepherd boy was? David. And the giant had a name, too. Who knows what that is? Goliath. Very good. What time period does this story fit in? This was in the United Kingdom. David is growing up and becoming a man during this period when Saul is the king. Okay, our next one is King Ahab. Ooh, that name should make you cringe a little bit. He was a wicked, wicked king, and he had a wife to match. Her name was Jezebel. King Ahab wanted Naboth's vineyard so bad that Jezebel just went and killed Naboth. She had him killed just so her husband could have his vineyard. If this story is familiar to you, do you know whether it fits in the Old or the New Testament? It's an Old Testament story. And what time period would that one fit in? That's during the divided kingdom. King Ahab was a king of Israel. Did you know there were no good kings in Israel? Isn't that a sad Sad thing that none of the kings that were over God's chosen people were good. 
very sad. Our next one is the first sin. It was eating fruit from a tree in the middle of a garden that they were told, don't eat that. Is that in the Old or the New Testament? That's an Old Testament one. And what time period is that? Might be our easiest one today. Before the flood, it all started with that sin and God had to have a plan to bring man back to him. That's why we have the whole rest of the Bible is that first sin. Our next event is about a queen named Esther. And she was a Jew and she saved her people from death. That was a big task and she did that with God's help, of course. Is that an Old Testament story or a New Testament story? Got another old, don't we? What time period is Queen Esther in? During the return from captivity, when she saved her people, they got to go back home. Very good. Next one. James. James is a man who tells us in a letter how to live as Christians with Christian wisdom and kindness and understanding. Is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? That's the New Testament. And what time period do you think that fits in? The letters to the Christians. James is a book in the New Testament, isn't it? Okay, here's our next one. Saul. Saul was a very tall king. Is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? The Old Testament. And what time period? And I think I gave this away just a few minutes ago. Saul was a king during the United Kingdom. There were three kings all together in the United Kingdom. Saul, then David, then David's son Solomon. Okay, very good. Here's another one. Do you remember Hannah who prayed and prayed and prayed for a baby boy? And she named him Samuel, and she promised if she had this baby that she would dedicate him to God and that he would work in the house of God. And that's what she does. She brings him when he is ready to live with Eli the high priest and learn the ways of the house of God. Do we find that story in the Old Testament or the New Testament? That's an Old Testament story, isn't it? What time period? Here's a hint. Samuel grows up to be a judge. That's during the period of the judges. Very good. Here's another sad one. When you hear the name Judas, what do you feel? You don't feel good, do you? Judas betrays Jesus. Do we find that story in the Old or the New Testament? Well, that's a New Testament one, isn't it? What time period would that fit in? Your hint is who he betrayed. He betrayed Jesus, so it would be during the life of Christ. Okay, we've got two more left. Are you hanging in there with me? Here's our next one. The walls of Jericho fall down flat. Is that story in the Old Testament or the New Testament? The Old Testament, isn't it? That's a good story, too. When the people did just what God said and marched around the city just like God said, and on the seventh day blew the trumpets and clanged the pottery together, what happened? The walls fell down. Now, if you went out today and marched around a block building, even if you did it seven times, for seven days, and you blew a trumpet and clanged pottery, do you think that wall would fall down? Not without God's help, right? 
a very important lesson here for us is we have to do what God says in order to receive His blessings. When the Israelites followed His command, He was with them always. Now what time period do these walls fall down in? Do you remember? The invasion and conquest of the land. That was the first battle in Jericho. Very good. All right, here's our last one today. A pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire. The Israelites followed both of these. Was that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Old Testament. And what time period did they follow these things? During the wilderness wanderings, because they didn't know where they were going. They followed that cloud during the day, and they followed the fire at night so God could lead them, and they would not get lost out there in that wilderness. How did you do today? Did you get all of them? Most of them? A few of them? It's okay. You can always watch it back until you get it all memorized and put it all in the categories you want them to be in. We get smarter each time we do this, and I'm so glad you get to join me from time to time. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye.